Welcome back to Hidden Power. This is a Pokemon podcast. Today's a very exciting episode. We're going to be talking all about the beta Pokemon leaks that have happened over the last decade. These are so exciting because what we end up seeing is that some of these Pokemon get reinterpreted into future generations of Pokemon. My name's Dusty. Today I'm with Lumios Post. Hello. And Soul Silver Art. What up? Soul, do you want to give us a breakdown on this topic? Yeah, so I'll give you like a brief history. I think it was 2018, we got the Space World demo leak, which is what you're seeing on the screen right now, which was just all of these cut Pokemon that were just ideas for designs and re they actually used some of them um, for uh, Gen 2. Uh, some of it was from Gen 1. We ended up learning later on, like some of these things were used for, were supposed to be for Gen 1 and then they moved them to Gen 2, which is probably true of like a bunch of Gen 2 designs in general. Um, and then later on in 2020, actually, I think for that, we got like a mini Gen 1 leak, um, which gave us like these crazy, uh, Gen 1 designs that we'd never seen before, which is really crazy. Um, and mostly they're back sprites, though, so you couldn't see the the front. So it wasn't as, uh, as amazing as this, because these are just, like, all new. Um, in 2020, we got these ones that you're seeing on the screen right now, which are completely different. Um, it's a whole new Pokemon that we've never seen before. I am a lover of beta Pokemon. They really should be called proto-Pokemon. Um, but it's... They're incredible. I love or them. alpha. They, I, I would call them alpha Pokemon. <laughs> it's just like beta is a, a, like a specific time frame, you know. And most of these are way before beta. Like they're, you know, they're they're different. But the the community came up with the whole beta Pokemon name. So here we are. You know, like that's what I think about them. But you guys, I'm sure. I don't know what your experience with this all is. I've drawn like. All of them and i just like i said i'm like in love with this and i wish that they were all real so i don't know how did it go for you guys basically did you know that this happened <laughs> well, wait so so do you you said you wish they were all real so do you do. prefer the like like you know obviously there's ones like that little kion pen as we're seeing it that were like completely scrapped but like mm -hmm. then there's some like porygon 2 where it was just there was a design and it changed so do right. you prefer the beta designs to the final versions? It really depends on the Pokemon. I mean, it's hard It's hard yeah. to say. Like, So for the biggest one that I always go to, because it's probably my favorite beta Pokemon, um, is Beta Kingdra. It should be on there somewhere. It is yeah. solid. That is beta, a solid one. There it is. Yeah, beta Kingdra is 10 times better than normal Kingdra. It probably would have been my favorite. I see, it was on the last Gen page. Two. Yeah, you were just you were scroll. just on it. <laughs> you, uh, it it probably would have been my favorite Gen two Pokemon, like outside of Lugia, like even more than Scizor. I friggin' love. It's cool with the little hands and the whiskers. I love it. Yeah, it's a dragon. It's sea a horse. completely different design. I do really like that. I I remember I remember like this happening. Like uh, people, I don't even think I was on Twitter at the time. Um, in fact, I know I wasn't on Twitter at the time. So I guess it was just people uh, on YouTube talking about, like, I'm sure, like, A-Drive covered it or whatever. And I remember seeing that and, like, it, it being a, a huge deal. I didn't fully understand the extent of what had happened. But I remember, like, going through the, what was it, like, Helix or something? Some website had, like, a yeah. full list. Helix Chamber. And I, I Helix mm -hmm. Chamber, that's it. And I, um, I would scroll through. And then also, you know, Dr. Lava has done, like, extensive yes. research on them like where he like you know he knows like pretty intimate details about them yeah, so i would always keep to up Dr. with his stuff shout out to dr lava this is actually on his website this image that we're looking yeah. at right now okay yeah so i'm guessing top is the regular and bottoms the shiny yes the, like the way we're looking at them now okay hmm. and i don't know if that's interesting because like meryl was flopped meryl was uh yes. pink yes. at the top and then Dom mm. Fan, Dom Fan's original is its current shiny. Yes, the yeah. orange. Isn't that yeah. insane. They switched them. <laughs> I love yeah. it. I love it so much. It's yeah, so neat. So I remember when this happened, this did feel like a piece of like modern history. I really like when it was happening, I'm like, wow, has this how has this not happened before? Um to to at least this extent, right? Like, how did it take so long for it to happen, given that it was so yeah. old? And there have yeah, been from 
if you think about it from like 2000 what 2000 to 2018 like that's yeah, a, long, it's a time. long time time and there have been leaks before of like beta Pokemon or whatever you want to call them, right? There have been Pokemon that have been like earlier versions of Pokemon that have been like floating around the internet. Um, but to this extent with the with all these Gen 2 Pokemon and even the Gen 1 Pokemon, there's a huge list of Gen 1 Pokemon as well. Um, actually, no, there is Pokemon, and I don't know if it's on this list, uh, but there are beta Pokemon for Generation 3 and Generation 4. There are, um, there are. Yeah, mm -hmm. so maybe that's maybe that's another video, but um, I think overall, I think this is a it, it really just it's really just a, a a look into the thought process or really like another reality, right? Talk about paradox Pokemon, these things like could potentially exist in another reality, right? Like where they took one of these Pokemon and just kind of ran with the with the design. So, so, I and, like Rin Rin. I like the little bell cat. Yeah, the, yeah, the bell cat. I love it. And they said that like this like Rin Rin, so that's a whole other thing, right? That these Pokemon have been like reinterpreted over the years. Um, mm. These designs were reinterpreted, honed into better designs. I look at Rin Rin as Skitty. That's what it reminds me of. I can see that with the tail and all. Yeah, yeah. I think and I think Rin Rin kind of cool. has a similar shape to Delcaddy. It also has yeah. the moon on its crest, or yeah, the crescent moon on its head, um, mm. and and Skitty evolves with a moonstone. I think most people think that they became uh, per Perleon, Perleon. I can't remember the name. Huh, Perleon, yeah, Perleon, Perleon, yeah. Perleon and, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see that too. Yeah, more than anything. Also, these names. So, like, I'm full of beta Pokemon facts. <laughs> Great. So, like, if you if you have like little com like questions that you want to ask or whatever, I got you. Um, so Rinrin, the name itself is like a translation of the Japanese name. So it's not like. These weren't their actual given names, kind of. Yeah. They they are, but they're not. If that makes sense, they're like. Were they're um, given Japanese names, but not their English names, then? Right. So they're like English eyes, the Romanized, you know, like the. Yeah. Like yeah, that. like they've taken the Japanese characters and just basically taken the sound and then spelled it how it is pronounced. Yeah. This is a specific yeah. way that I don't know how they did it, but <laughs> there are people that speak the language too. No, um, I, I remember like like back when uh, games released in Japan before America. Like I remember uh, Unova was you know the last one to do that. I remember like actually calling the starters like this is Mijumaru and this is Sutarja and this is cool. um, mm -hmm. Pokaboo because that is what their Japanese names were. Right. That's so really cool. So even with this th that I'm I'm looking at it, the one that you have pulled up actually has their full like proper Japanese translations, but other names. So like you see where it says Madamu for for the for fetched evolution. Yep. I don't know how you would say it, but basically there's another translation. Like this is the really like close to it. Then there's another like proper English translation that translates that to just Madame. No, it's just Madame. Um, but there's other ones too, and then some didn't get translated proper either. Yeah, it's very so interesting. Later on, we'll go through the entire list of all of these Pokemon. Um, but I think what's really interesting is to see like how certain designs have developed from start to finish, and like how much they compare to what we actually know the Pokemon as. Like we all know Delibird as like the Santa Claus Pokemon, um, even though its design isn't like as obvious as this beta version, where it mm. looks like it's actually wearing a Santa Claus hat. Right. And the beard. Yep. Has a and Santa beard. beard. Which yeah. is hilarious, right? Um, and then there's also like, uh, you know, we get a glimpse into, uh, you know, what Mime Jr. maybe used to be and how Mime Jr. was maybe like uh, supposed to exist as early as Generation 2. I think that's really interesting. Um, Pokemon like Remoraid, right? The the lore there was like, why like why does a fish evolve into an octopus? Well, now we get to see actually that Remoraid was really based on a handgun. Right, a revolver and, and everything. I never yep. noticed. I've seen the design before and noticed like the handle and the trigger. I never realized it had the revolver too. That's the yeah. Kind of neat. Mm -hmm. That explains the stripes on the side of it, right? Yeah. Um, and how and so now all of a sudden it makes sense that a revolver would evolve into a tank. That is mm -hmm. like a very Pokemon evolution, and so, even the biological species that they're based on is just as drastic. Yeah. So you see, Octillery is one of those. Lumi, that you asked me, would I prefer it? That that tank one, I like yeah. so much better than the yeah. one we got. My goodness, I would like that. And like our only water steel is Empoleon, so I would have much preferred a water steel artillery. Yeah, yeah definitely. That would have been super cool, right? 
Um, and what it also has something interesting with it too. And you know, it gets such a diverse move set. So like a water steel type getting that diverse move set. That would yeah. be cool. Maybe we'll get an octillery evolution one day that is water steel. You know, they start I bringing totally that. I could totally see that. That would be really cool. And like oh, a Johto remake. Yeah, I can mm -hmm. definitely see that. So what about... Yeah, maybe um, in Legends Johto, we'll get our artillery hmm. evolution. That would be so incredible. I, I'm looking right here at what's called Tabin. Um, I think so it's it translates all... to Turban, basically. Yes, yeah. Um, this would be maybe a split evolution uh, for Shelder, right? Generation 2 was the game that gave a lot of Kanto Pokemon split evolutions. I'm thinking of Politoed. Um, you have, uh, not Steelix, but Politoed. Blossom is another one. Um, I could see this this Pokemon being the split evolution for Shelder and then also giving backstory and context for the Shelder that bites Slowpoke's tail or head. Yep. Uh, I think that's so cool to see that this Pokemon could have actually existed as a standalone Pokemon. That's one thing that this did too. Like, I remember exactly where I was when this happened. It was insane. I was just like on the internet and I'm like, no way is this real. No way yeah. is this happening. It blew my mind. But like, so something like Turban, like that thing, confirmed theories for people that have yes. been theories for like 20 years. People were like, you know, that thing on top of, uh, or on Slowbro's tail is a, was a Pokemon, I think. Or like, you know, like it's actually a Shelter evolution. You know, yeah. that thing is... It would have evolved. It made so much. It makes so much sense when you like actually um, think about the lore put together with that design. It's like, oh yeah, now Shelder did bite its tail. It's not just like a random looking thing that they call Shelder. You know, because in the game they're yeah, just yeah. like, this is a Shelder on its tail. Like, no, that's not a Shelder. That's a completely different Pokemon. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, so similar to that, Dusty. If you go back to the other page where Umbreon was, yeah. um, there. That Umbreon was a uh, was a poison type. Correct. And um, I, I think that's super neat because, like, uh, so there's also somewhere on here should be, like, yeah, or maybe it was a different version of the game had uh, a, um, a Leafeon beta. So it yes. was going to be a chain in that Espeon beat Umbreon, which beat Leafeon. But the neat, there's the Leafeon. Uh, yeah. But the neat thing about it is, like, that uh, they still reference that Umbreon used to be poison type and it's dex injuries because like it always talks about how it secretes toxic sweat so yeah, I, I i always liked that it's kind of a reverse of the shelter thing where like the shelter uh the turban explains a whole thing with shelter they've now like put stuff that explains the beta pokemon being poison type i don't know yeah it That's helps great. like no absolutely i also love that idea that like not only did we get so like we Generation two, we would have got three new EV evolutions that all have mm. that all, all correlate with their types. You have Grass being weak to Poison, which would would have been Umbreon, and then Poison being weak to Psychic, which is Espeon. That's kind of cool to see that there would have been it like hurts a new trio. Me. Hurts me to think that you know, like what could have been, you know. But and yeah. at the same time, like if we had known about the Umbreon and Espeon that we got today, you know. If it was like a different universe or something, <laughs> would would I feel the same way? You know, I don't know. I it just it's epic to me that they would have well, had I, a triangle like that. Leafeon, I definitely do not prefer the beta version. Leafeon, no. I think, uh, and the Apoms right next to it do not like beta Apoms. Yeah, that thing's creepy. This thing looks more like Grafii. Actually, another point. It's kind of interesting to see, and maybe this is irrelevant because Leafeon's so late as well. Uh, but it is kind of interesting to see that Togepi, Snubble, and Apom are all next actually in this other pokemon that looks kind of like sneasel is so close yep. to the listing of these legendary dogs right you got these mm. are the, so this is another can of worms the beta yep. forms of raiko ente and suicune that's really interesting um legendary and, dogs yep. look at them yep yeah. they're dogs they, they're dogs they were dogs at one point <laughs> isn't that interesting it's so interesting. Went from dogs to cats. That is kind of neat. I, I wonder if it's it. because of the amount of dog Pokemon in this game. I mean, you have Houndour, Snubble, and Smeargle. Yep. You know, yeah. So like, but it's interesting to think that Snubble and Togepi might have been like mythical Pokemon in that sense, right? I think that Snubble was considered that, and maybe even Togepi, um, yeah. because you know Togepi was really special when it first came out. It came out before Gen Two, basically. Uh, um, yeah. It was a. Well, it, yep. Yeah. I know that there's some information on this. This is one of the pieces of info that I don't really know well, but I think that those two specifically were um, supposed to be some kind of special Pokemon. And they just weren't sure, so they put them all at the end. So, so like, the Apom 
even. Um, Interesting too on. that they're both normal types that were later changed to fairy. That is a mm. yeah, that's a great point. It makes movie. me wonder if there's something in their lore that like we don't know. That Game Freak was like, hey, you know, if we're changing old Pokemon to fairy types, make sure you do Togepi and Snubble because of that thing. You know, there's yeah. definitely stuff we don't know about these <laughs> about any Pokemon in general. Like I'm sure Game mm. Freak they have like their own little inside jokes about each or like inside information. Like this is what I actually based it off of, and it's completely nothing that we've ever thought about. These idiots think this is a cat. It's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Those, so, like, the legendary beasts, like, I call them beasts now because that's what they are now to me. Right. Yeah. But there's been this whole thing going around on Twitter that they're legendary cats and they should be. And because of there was an interview of their creator and he was like, I, I based them off of a leopard, a tiger, and a lion. This, I don't know if this was the same guy that made these sprites. So, like, sometimes, uh, like, designers, they do, like, a separate thing. So, like... This could be a completely different designer and they were like you know what i'm not liking this or the whole team was like we're not really liking this can you do a design for it like so they turned to the other guy and made him do the design and he came up with Maybe. cats instead basically or, or it's the same guy i don't know yeah it, it could be the same guy and he just changed his inspiration on them and he just he's not mentioning this because you know he, he's not allowed to i mean this isn't supposed to be out you know That's oh, true. yes that is another big point about this whole thing is this is a leak a proper leak like Game Freak does not want, didn't want us to have this. This is in a vault somewhere along with a million of other cut designs that I want to see so badly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, Game Freak cut, cuts designs, like, all the time based on this. Like, look how many there are. There, there's, like, over a hundred. Um, like, yeah, these this, are... Look at this scissor. This thing is so, so cool. So, are we to assume yeah. that that Purakusu, it was clearly later incorporated into Heracross... But do you think at this yes. stage it was a pincer evolution? Yeah. I don't I don't know. I think, I think pincer, so. pincer was already Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because Pincer was already uh in existence at this point. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was so. a Gym One Mon. Pincer was a Gym One Mon. Mm -hmm. It looks too yep. similar. Yep. So I think it, it did become Heracross. It's yeah. crazy. But I wonder if when like... it was this design, if it was supposed to be a pincer, because that's like that's super Clint. close to pincer, and then it hmm. being right next to, you know, Blissey and Scizor makes me think that it was uh Yeah, if you remove those pincers, uh, yeah, the pincers, and then all you have is that horn. You they must have said this is kind of boring. Let's let's just add like a little appendage to the top of the horn. And then just make the face not look. But so it also horrifying. makes more sense. His pencil <laughs> like, hit his horn yeah. right now. You know, yeah. I mean it. It's, I always, it's a pretty. I always bad thought the horn design. would. I always thought the horn would put. It's like a nose. It's in front of. The horn is always mm -hmm. in front. That's how I always imagined it. Yes, well, but then it's you, like, well, now the horn's in the way of the pincers. So it's what true, are the yeah. pincers there yeah. for? Yeah. When you look at the back sprite of it, though. Do you yeah. see like the two blob things on the on its back? I think that those are eyes. I think that those are its proper eyes on the back. Oh really? See it? Yeah, uh, right here on the back sprite. Yeah, those two spots. I, I think don't... those are its actual eyes. No way. I don't know. I don't think so. It, they look like bug eyes to me. If you look at the, that face, like a face, claw. Oh, almost. Front. So like it's like it, a Mister Rhyme situation. If it's yeah. on, all, oh, that's true. Yeah. So like if it's on all fours, it's crawling around like a beetle, and then it could maybe scoop with the horn and then pinch pinch with the pincers. I could see that. Does make maybe. sense to me that the face on the front of it is kind of weird it's like is that actually a face it's, it's horrifying it's like a little skeleton mask it's very I scary yeah it's, it's straight it. up nightmare fuel yeah love it. never that, this design never i made much sense prefer hair cross i much prefer hair cross but now i will say with houndour i like that the like skeleton dog was much more pronounced there mm -hmm. me too mm -hmm. yeah he has a full, i, I like, kind of hate that we lost that it's interesting that like this actually see like this could have been this beta design, right, this initial concept for, like, a true skeleton dog could have been the inspiration for uh, the two new uh, dog Pokemon from Generation 9. Um, I'm starting, yeah. Yeah. Because those are sure. truly, like, skeleton dogs. wonder if it was Ghost Fire at this stage instead of Dark Fire. Interesting, could have been. yeah. We don't know much about the types. So, like, the yeah. types didn't leak with this. It just was a drop of all these things. So. I do know dark type was added on pretty late, and that's the evidence there is that, like, uh, Umbreon used to be poison right. type. Poison. So I could well, and even look at Sneasel. That's another dark type from these games. It yeah. clearly mm -hmm. wasn't dark type at that yeah. stage. Yeah, they're like, what if we take this normal type, make it dark type? Okay, well, we have to make it, like, 
dark. In fact, Apom looks more dark type than Sneasel does, does there. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I like I like the uh, the 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 little wolf and the wolf Pokemon that's next oh, to right the Hound here? Hour line. Yes. Oh, yeah, I, I love, love those. I hate that they're not in the game. Yeah. Yep. This is one of those Tangela Pokemon where you don't really know what its true identity is, which can be fun. Um, I Those aren't my favorite Pokemon. I do like Mimikyu. But I think that this is kind of a Mimikyu came from this situation. It looks like a little I bit see like that. Mimikyu. With the evil His eyes. eyes in the first one remind me That's of when true. Mimikyu's eyes like sparkle up before it uses yeah. signature Z move. Mm. So this one... This one and the one above it, uh, like Raitora and the Kotora family, they are probably the most desired out mm. of all of these. Like, if I was to say... I don't want Kotora. You don't so... want Kotora. Really? Either. All People it is is a Pikachu this... clone. I, I will Pikachu say this. Clone. No, I will it's say... tiger. I would like Kotora. I would not like Raitora. Yeah. Just because, like, Kotora would be a great like a tiger one. cub, but, like, I would want my big, ferocious tiger at the this end, is... and Raitora is not that. This is Pommy, <laughs> Pomo, and Pomot. That, <laughs> a little bit. It. There is a third one. So, like, in this demo, Ooh, we didn't get it. One? We just, we, yeah, we just thought that it was these two when it first happened. We're like, oh, wow, these little balls, which I think it actually became Sfeel. Um, Kotora That's became Sfeel. Um, but um, yeah, there's a third one when the, the Gen 1 leak when happened. A sea, a sea lion. There's a connection yeah. there, maybe. Yeah, yeah. When the Gen Katora back as a convergent to seal, feel. That'd be, be kind of amazing. Cute. Yeah, amazing. When the Gen One thing happened, That's they so true. only gave them their back sprites. So this is actually a Gen One Pokemon. Like it's been around before that. Wow. Uh, so Whoa. it got scrapped from Gen One, and then they mm -hmm. said, "Well, let's bring it back for Gen 2. And then they scrapped an evolution. Made them nah, and scrapped it. <laughs> Yeah, they scrapped its evolution for Gen 2, and then they were like, Ow. again, we're going to scrap it. I think the they scrapped it. the evolution more tiger-like? Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a, just a back sprite. Yeah, you know that, what? They probably the cut middle. this because of Raikou. I bet they had this exactly. still in the game, yeah. and when they changed hmm. it, Raikou to be what it is, they scrapped it. That's probably, So that's yeah. that's the common theory I was just about to say. Like, they... People think that they scrapped it just because of Raikou. They're just like, yeah, we don't need two electric tigers. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little aggravated with Raikou now. <laughs> I would have rather Raikou's him as a amazing, dog. though. No way. Well, I like those dogs way better than what we got. I do like I... the dogs a lot, but I will. No. I think, okay, so. Mm -hmm. I These don't, are Gen I, 1 designs. I, want Super I prefer Saiyan the Raikou. Raikou. I prefer no. the Raikou, but I do not prefer entire Suicune. I will say, I think Suicune may have been reworked into Spectrier. Yeah, people do yeah. think that. It's Cause weird the to uh, think the that, droopy but... hair. To me, these mm -hmm. Pokemon look like they're they're designed as Gen One. Um, I would say that Raikou looks that is just as offensive as a Lola and Doug trio. It looks like a wig. I think no. I think all of the legendary Freaking, beasts have great Goku. designs. Yeah, that's not Goku. a good thing. You don't want that in Pokemon. <laughs> I know, I know. It is. It, it kind of looks like an but... evolution to yeah. the Houndoom uh, line. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. If it wasn't electric type, like that's what I would assume it was. I mean, that's looking at like Hound Hour in that corner, it just looks so similar. That's really interesting. Actually, but I yeah. wonder if maybe Hound Hour was intended to be the Pokemon that died and became Raikou in the fire. If Dude. maybe they were going to have Pokemon in the game that were supposed to be the Pokemon that died and became the beast. That's so cool because we have the electric, we have the, we could have the fire type or whatever. And then what would the water Pokemon be? What would the water dog be? Oh no, I didn't get that far, Dusty. I know I'm looking real quick. It's not quite. Hey, that's a, that's actually a really good idea for a theory video. Just saying. Yeah, nobody's I might make that. that later. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, nobody's <laughs> done that. I think it's that's actually subscribe really cool. to Lumio's post, man. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, Coming. subscribe to me as well because I'm going to be featured on that video. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm oh, really man. curious. Unknown's looking pretty clean, pretty regular. Yeah, it it had like a different uh, shiny color, maybe if I remember correct, or well, the shiny's right there, but there is a different like color of it. So okay. there's like in 2020 when we got the bigger leak, like this was just this like, image that you're seeing, and that's all we had in 2018. And then in 2020 we got like this huge leak that was like multiple game leaks, um, multiple um, builds of the game. Um, Shark. So we got different sprites of these same Pokemon 
again. So like there's an there's an unknown that's like got a green uh like aura around oh, really? it. Really? Yeah. It's it's crazy. I have most of these things in my mind. <laughs> we changed like, the hidden power uh mascot to the green beta unknown. <laughs> the green yeah, we, unknown. We could do that. <laughs> we can, then we can trademark it. It's not trademarked. Yeah. True. <laughs> Oh, here it is, right Take here. Take that copyright law. Yeah, you see the green one? Yeah. It's on the end there, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think Unknown's shiny is blue, actually, yeah. So, like, they, they let it just... That little fella right there. Yeah, I've dark. never seen this one before. Really a rather odd-looking rabbit-like Pokemon. Possibly I'm above that. Possibly an early attempt at a Pika clone, which is really interesting. This is uh, I do, a large... I recognize the one above it, because uh, that... Correct me if I'm wrong, Soul. That was in a pinned tweet of yours. It might still be a pinned tweet. It is. It pin is. Tweet. It's my pin yeah. tweet. Mm -hmm. That's the latest That's where one. Where I, I recognize did. it from? Yeah. This one yeah. looks like it could be Entei. Just Maybe. need that to be real so badly. <laughs> it's pretty. Um, cool. Yeah. He. That one. People think that was the original uh, legendary because Lugia was made for the movie. So they didn't have a Lugia basically in this yet, and then people think that that was like the fourth legendary beast, or you know, but that it was an actual counterpart to Ho. -Oh. Maybe that's what Ar Arcanine was to be like confused with. Like people thought this was Arcanine. And yeah, or it evolved into that even. Like that could yeah. even be an Arcanine evolution. There's just wow. so much you can just like speculate off of. You know, there's it's a bunch yeah. of stuff. I think it's the amount it's of uh, the amount of very stereotypical, might I add, uh, Native American stuff in this game yeah. it's kind of odd like because it I was in that, yeah. japan region but there's that and then at the i think it was at the top of the list is uh like the beta celebi my understanding is that it was just a like a carbon copy of like a, a just like the popular depiction of the god i think that's actually a really big point that i've never thought of you just brought that up but like the ruins of alf is not really japanese you know, I think I feel like the ruins of Alf has that like South American vibe, and like the whole thing with Mew, like oh yeah, yeah. Mew's from South America. Down and that's there. where you find Natu. Mm -hmm. That's the only place yeah. to get Natu in the game. Yeah, Natu in the yeah. That's another very uh, native, like indigenous kind of Pokemon. So that that probably would have been like related to that mm. whole thing. I, there there must have been some hints of it. Well, there, I wonder if I maybe is. part of it too was like. You know, Pokemon is definitely no stranger to, like, taking yokai as inspiration. So I wonder if it was a thing of... Because Gen 2 was supposed to be the uh, last games. So it was like they mm. saw how popular it was in the West. And so they're like, you know, maybe we should take these American... Not yokai, but, like, you know, whatever would be kind of the equivalent to that. Let's look at their yeah, lore that. that used to exist in those regions and pull from that. That's interesting. Definitely, yeah. So, I mean, even Celebi. Celebi is... It's like its current design is very, uh, you know, like that's kind of like a very Western, like a European take on like a pixie, you know? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're enjoying this show, just $5 helps us out so much. Right below this video, there's a join button. You can click it and become a channel member. And and more importantly, we have merch. Seriously, I'm about to like, when, when we're done recording this ad, I'm trying to speed up this ad so I can go and buy my own <laughs> merch, which is really lame. But also, like, it's super it's not, cool, and it's I need not it. lame. Cool. I'm gonna be it's wearing. It's amazing. I'm gonna be wearing a hat. I'm gonna be wearing a t-shirt. I'm gonna be wearing. I'm also gonna have a, a hoodie. I'm gonna have a hidden power hoodie. Um, oh, I'm gonna get that too then. Yeah, Soul's gonna get sure. one. I want too. a mug. I want to put my Snapple in a hidden power mug. Oh, just... I like that. I'm gonna be drinking no. coffee in a hidden power mug. That makes more sense. That makes yeah. more sense than Snapple. That's like, what is this plastic? In That's bad for the environment. Get a mug. Save there the you turtle. Go. There you go. <laughs> Soul I'm... Silver Army, grab your merch. Yeah, you listen, your boy. listen to Lumi. Get get some of our stuff. It's really good stuff, guys. Your support will allow us to continue making Hidden Power videos for the rest of the year. Thank you guys so much. And now back to the video. So I think what we could do. So we have all we have a huge list of new Pokemon that we're gonna dive into, um, but. Another byproduct of it, of this is that we also have beta sprites of Pokemon that exist that we know that we love. The Charizard, I think, is really crazy. Um, maybe if this one is it. Yeah, you see the back sprite one? Yeah. Um, you can click on it and br make it bigger, I think. That one, yeah. It has two, like, horns on its head. Go down a little bit. <laughs> it does. You go back. That didn't work. I can't <laughs> zoom in, but yeah. Back and go down. 
Go down, scroll. Yep. That's there you go. so true. You there's two huh. different two pumps spikes right here. Yeah. Instead, like Charizard has never had spikes on its Lizard back. Demon Zard. That is yeah. really interesting. When he does uh, have now, he does have like kind of you know you can see in that spray. He has like horns, but they're not it, like to that extent. That's true. Right. Even its wings right. look a lot more like draconic. Dra yeah, Dracula. Yeah, I love yeah. that that first sprite of it right there. The gray, black, cool. and white. So one. would you prefer that to regular Charizard? Because I, I gotta say, yes. I I don't think there's anything I'd prefer to regular Charizard. No, Charizard's so iconic. <laughs> Except for Charizard Y. You mean I like do the love spikes Charizard on its... Y. Uh, you mean like the spikes on its back, on its neck, or whatever head? I mean like the the little more like devil like horns and the more yeah, no, Dracula like, like wings. No, I, would say... I, I like. I like the sprite itself, but yeah, Th this Squirtle uh, art right Very here, it, yeah, its tail actually looks a lot more like War Turtles uh, mm. fins and and tail, which I think is that's something I haven't even seen before. Wasn't War Turtle initially like a whole separate thing, like it was on related to Squirtle? Probably, mm. but is it's speculated because they found um, so this is all once again in the Gen One leak. But they had um, basically a whole nother line for blastoise like it had the baby and it wow. evolved into blastoise and then there was another Pokemon that war turtle evolved into that looks like a big and these were fan interpretations so because all we got was back sprites yeah same with gorochu so like you're on pikachu right now in that gen one thing we got a gorochu which was an evolution for raichu but it was just the back sprite so that's another one that like you were talking about katora and the uh the kind of werewolfish one yeah uh, being mm -hmm. highly desired gorichu is one that's you know talked about all the time True. i've been saying like i did a video on like paradox pokemon i'd love to see and i said like one thing i'd love to see is like an electric dragon gorichu oh that's that kind insane. of like as a beta pikachu like as a like or as a paradox of pikachu i think mm -hmm. that would be like super sick and would be like a really cool nod the fact, because Gorchu, correct me if I'm wrong, but Gorchu, that is public knowledge. They talked about that in an interview. Like, that it is, is yeah. Like, that's it not did. even a leak. That is, like, that's, they officially revealed that. That Cedra right, one is one of my favorites ever. The the actual, the front sprite. Dusty, um, why are you clicking the back sprite? <laughs> He's the back clicking sprites. the most. We don't want to see their butt, Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's look at Cedra. this Cedra. It is very different to me. If you look at Looks a normal like Cedra, dope. I love it. If that was really Cedra, I would have just been like, all right. I mean, and they are sprites, granted. All right, let's move on now to the actual beta Pokemon themselves. Um, you know, we talked about it. This is the original depiction of Celebi. It was based on like Fertility a Fertility and there the Native American cultures. The yeah. Coco Pelli, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what it is. The pronunciation's yep. probably awful, but you know. And, and that's I how think most this... people pronounce it. Yeah, this is really a this is this is the kind of beta Pokemon that really is a beta Pokemon. It's like not even a Pokemon. They took an idea, they sprited it, and then realized this this needs to be more right. We need to like develop something that's like actually recognizable, something that is is identifiable as a Pokemon. I wonder if that was slightly worked into Marsh Shadow. Like Soul pointed out how it was very you know supposed to be like a shadow mm. or whatever. So I wonder if yeah. An idea of like a little shadow person was reworked into Mark Shadow down the line. It is kind of like tribal too, so it yeah. does give that kind of feel. I I always see it as like it plays the flute to like in time, like change time or whatever, sure. or like all a Pokemon of time, you know, something crazy like that. Cool. Well, did um, it have time powers back then? Because instead, it was associated with fertility, so that makes me think more like plants growing and stuff who, who knows <laughs> that's just like in my head canon like what i think of when i see it yeah love the little worm i think people think that it was uh it probably says it in that like blurb on the side over there but people think that it was like a gorbis gorbis um I, i'm looking at it now i, I mean this says it has it's like wiglet um, this is kind of like it has wiglet. Yeah, form. Form. not even wrong about that i never thought about it i, I think it has it's like an a evolved bug. form yeah yeah yeah, it's it is bug. supposed to have an evolution, or I think no, it's, it's a third. It's a, the third stage of a two-stage evolution. Right, or I think a, it evolves into evolution. that. Yes, I think it evolves into that eel. Underneath this evolves it. into the eel. Well, they which said they think the it was worked into uh, the Tynamo line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, I think honestly, this looks way more like Wiglet, though. Right, it's a sand that, eel. 
I think, though, a lot of the times, I think they take some of these aspects and they rework them into one thing, and then what's left over is reworked into something else, you know? Definitely. You got Goro. Uh, I think... Goro Tesu looks like Lantern to me. It's a, it's a Lantern. Yeah, brush. but then also Huntail. Yep, exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's good. Unlike the, the, the one I always think of is Leafeon. Yeah. Beta Leafeon, obviously, it was reworked into Leafeon. But then it also looks very similar to the Beta Go-Goat that there is, which yeah. obviously was then reworked into Go-Goat. 100%. Yeah. yeah. And then Ikari I is really... I hate that the shark is gone. I hate that the shark is gone. <laughs> this shark is really cool. We definitely we definitely got this... Definitely Sharpedo. Yeah, Sharpedo is what this is based on. The tail, though, is really, really bizarre. I love it's that, it. though. That's so much better to me than Sharpedo not even having... It is more tail. interesting. Sharpedo is not a true shark to me. To me, we have not yet gotten our true shark Pokemon. It's a torpedo yeah. shark, right? I, I, it's a... How is it not it. actually a shark? It's definitely a shark. Because to me, look, look, man, look, man. It's half of a I, shark. I live, it's I live exactly. on the coast. <laughs> it's half a shark. It's literally 50% of a shark. Yeah. I The part of seeing a shark, and have either of y'all ever seen a shark, like, in person, not in an aquarium? Yeah. Like in the wild. Mm -hmm. It is surreal, not man. Not up close. They are <laughs> massive, and, I mean... It, the whole thing is what makes the shark. I mean, it, it seriously, to me, is like... It, doing half a shark, to me, is like doing a swordfish without the sword. Like it, it's it got to be you love this, thing. But you love this shark, but he's not... He's like half a shark, too, with an anchor. Oh, but, he, but he still is complete. He's just complete with an anchor. He's a very Pokemonized yeah. version of a shark, but he's at least a shark. Torpedo's more like a sunfish. I look at this yeah. and I'm like, what if that's like this, the vertebrae and that's like a skeleton? It's like, it, it's like a fish yeah. that got... Half of its body got chewed off. That's kind of what I'm looking at. I mean, right how now. you feel about this shark Pokemon is how I feel about all of them. <laughs> I just want, <laughs> I want all of them. <laughs> so now Do we you get this... want that small little white round one. Yeah, he's a mochi. <laughs> it's like a mochi. Is that what it is? Like, is it yeah, a like, mochi? That's kind of yeah. cute. That it's is kind of cute. Food and even the it's very Japanese. The the evolution to it as well with the like the ears are leaves, but they it's a food item. I oh, wish that's I could really bring cool. It up, but... Well, it looks like interesting. Is this a four-stage evolutionary line? You've got I think this it's split. Three. You've got a it's baby. You got this thing, and then it evo either evolves into this or it evolves into this. Like this is the waifu. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I see a split evolution. For, uh, hey, scroll for down. You're not showing it to us. A split evolution yeah. for three hundred six, uh, which resembles a weeping willow-like tree. If the previous hypothesis is correct, then here we have a fruit actually fully maturing into a tree. Interesting. Okay, I like that split evo. You have one that evolves into a fruit, kind of fun. one evolves into the tree. I still definitely more like more meaningful than freaking Bell Awesome. I will never yeah. understand the point of Bell Awesome. Why did they add that? Like it's this it's a grass poison line. They just randomly are like, uh, let's the grass poison line's complete. Let's just yeah. throw in this pure grass one as a split evolution that looks nothing like the rest of them. I do like that instead of having the crown. Or like the headpiece of the of the flower on Vile Plume, rather than having it up top, they kind of flipped the silhouette and made it a dress. Like I do kind of like that, but I do feel like it's it, it, at the end of the day, it is kind of like this isn't an, an interesting enough to really, uh, you know, justify a brand new Pokemon. Um, this this so we we, we got to go through this list quick. There's really a lot of them here. We've got a, a Fox Pokemon that looks like Fennekin. To me, that looks like really you know that's, that's Fennekin. It didn't list its name, but there actually was a name for that Pokemon. Um, okay. It was uh, Mozilla. Yeah, the Firefox. It's Mozilla Firefox. I don't know if I was you're about making a to joke. Say, like, is. is that really what it is? Mozilla I was like, Firefox. There is no name for that. Name. Yeah, Mozilla Firefox. I thought it yeah. was funny. Dang it! No. Mo yeah, I think it's <laughs> like, delivery of Mozilla. Mozilla. I guess. Mozilla. Is that not yeah. how you pronounce it? Mozzarella Firefox. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this elephant, I mean, we did get Dawn Fan in Generation 2, but this looks definitely... That's it's more just a, Great Tusk. It's a, it yeah, reminds me of Great Tusk. That's actually a good point, yeah. To me, it's a generic elephant. I think this could have been worked into a lot of different Pokemon, right? Uh, Kaparaja is one of the most recent. Zatu, um, that little mid-stage or whatever. I yeah, like it's that. nice to see a mid-stage. Cool. should have existed. It should have existed. It's, like, it's a good oh, That's pretty cool. I like that better than... I would like that to be the final stage, honestly. I like that better than Zatu. What kiwi what is thing. this thing right here? This little kiwi bird? It's just a kiwi, yeah. A Pokemon bird. I also love that. Cool. I love the scorpion. Scorpion sick. 
it's out of place. Like it feels like um, uh, oh, what is it? Dragon Quest. It's like a Dragon Quest monster. It looks like to me, but it's epic. I like it. It looks like it'd be like a, a like a something you'd have to fight in like a some kind of dungeon game, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's the thing. This this could have been turned into Gligar. This could have been turned into Scorupi. Uh, I. Yeah. I think the pin has been turned into that fake uh, scorpion Pokemon we got for Scarlet and Violet. That should have been. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> this thing is kind of a waste. A bird. It's just like, what is a it? Bird. A quail? <laughs> it's just yeah, bird, it's yeah. It's an egg shaped quail. quail like bird. Actually, mm -hmm. you know what? I'd be willing to bet that, look, at, this is one concept of a Pokemon. Way down at the bottom of the list, we have Togepi, right? This, this little harp bird, whatever you want to call this, that bird? it, it kind of looks like to uh, Togetic. I could see that, right? And then Togepi is like a, a an unhatched egg. Uh, oh, for I, this, I actually, those... this, you have to think that those Gen 2 Pokemon were already created. So, like, they are in this as well. So, it, it okay. wouldn't be Togepi. Yeah, it's like, it's, uh, they were made at the same time, basically. I okay. mean, they're probably redundant, actually. That's why they probably got cut. I think that it is an egg in a Pokemon. So yeah, I mean they do cut for redundancy a lot. Redundancy a lot. Like uh, we know that um, uh, Shellman was originally. I said you said redundancy. Redundancy. <laughs> that is something that we'll see later on. There is another form of Dunspars. This thing. Uh, is there? So this thing would be would have been related to Quillfish. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Had Interesting. Boar is really it. cool. I like the boar. Yeah, oh, like right here. Sure. Oh, that is so not. Simple. Do not click on its back sprite, Dusty. <laughs> click on its Whoa, butt <laughs> that's <laughs> amazing! Incredible. <laughs> Look, what we got actually is Swine Up in this build of the game because if there's a boar Pokemon, I'm sure, right, it could have been that. I always thought that that's what, what we got. Did Ampharos not have Mareep and Flaffy? I guess it's not. Separate. It might have been separate, or it just might be how this is like. Uh, listed because it doesn't have many of the older or the actual okay. ones that made it in you know i do think that mareep and like because like 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 ampharos is kind of like a giraffe right it's got the it's got the yellow and black it's got a long neck huh. maybe that's separate and then mareep and flaffy were conceptualized as one you know one family mm. maybe this thing is Definitely really cool. in a sheep <laughs> kian pan it's yeah. kind of cool yeah it's based off of a like Jiangxi, which is like a zombie. Um, they put the basically you would put that like a, what is, is it a zombie called? or a vampire? Because that's like looks a, very it's like vampire. a it's like a zombie Scroll. vampire. You would put oh. that piece of a tag. Yes, you put the tag on it so it could it would stay still. It couldn't move. Basically, oh, that cool. what the spell tag is based off of. I think so. In the Probably. game's little item. Mm -hmm. There's one episode of the Jackie Chan animated TV show where that's the plot. Nice. There's like zombies or something, and he's just like throwing tags on everything that's that's where that comes from exactly yeah is that it's like a cool. yokai i think it i think it's just like a i think it's actually chinese so i think it's just okay. a myth. could it be related to this one this uh what do you call it a, yeah um, it evolves from that i'm pretty sure so that's like a uh, the that's actually dolls. so glad they scrapped the growlith baby up there because that yeah just hideous it's so bad. <laughs> yeah it's very different it's like meow that stands up i hate that yeah the bella bolt beta up there Yep. Yeah, that is Bella Bolt. I have no doubts at all. Like some mm. people they'll say like, you know, maybe this is based on there's no doubt for me. That is that is what Belly Bolt was based off of. Very cool. The little cool. okay, so this is this is gonna be maybe weird. The little raindrop thing, three thirty one after jump bluff. I don't know why, but I look at it and I, it just to me it 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 kind of makes me want to go watch an anime. I not a specific anime. <laughs> just I don't know. Say I, something like you love it or something. I mean, it's uh, good. It's. it's I mean, it's ghost. fine. Yeah, I don't. I wonder if that was maybe reworked into cast form. Maybe I don't mm -hmm. know. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. There were a lot of like ghost Pokemon introduced into Generation Three. Um, I feel like there were certain types that were kind of like held back as like. I don't know. They they wanted to like keep the rarity of the type ghost type. I don't know what it is about this little type. dude, but I'm I'm sur I'm super interested in him. So can you explain the lore behind him? I have no idea. He's just a ghost. We gotta watch <laughs> anime. Just, what happened to I know you have any questions? Let me know. I know everything <laughs> about these. Okay, so I will tell you this. He is like a typical Japanese ghost thing. Like if you I don't know if you played Animal Crossing, the latest one, but yeah. there's like a little ghost guy. 
It looks yeah, just like a this. little ghost guy that looks exactly like Looking that. Right they now. they wear that little hat thing. I don't know what the the meaning of it is. It has it on the little uh, the description there next to it. It probably does. Oops. Oh yeah, that's it's like just typical tropes of. The... Oh yeah, he's he's he is. all right. Little animal crossing ghost. He's fun. Look at that. that's so nice. Thing. Mm -hmm. Very cute. He, here he's smiling, and there's stars. He's in pain I think, right here. I think little guy is cuter though. Yeah, it's because he's a Pokemon. Be, I would train this. I would train that. Little a guy is what I named Pokemon. him. I'd <laughs> name him guy. little guy. Yeah, Kotoro could be cool, but obviously in this iteration, I just think it's too. Bo it's boring. It's literally so just. A, it's a. I don't know. I. I, I think it. It just. It's, round. it's like a. I mean, I don't love it like it's like people do but that thing has a cult following like you would not believe like that is I think the it's most just because people want a true place. tiger yeah i think it's because Maybe. people want true tiger every time we get a tiger it's like a fake out like incineroar is you know standing up Jim pow is I, pretty sweet and pow's a snow leopard get out of here yeah very different from a tiger i'd say that's that was <laughs> that was not cool dusty well the thing is <laughs> no, no, no no the thing is the, the 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 great thing about a tiger is that it's actually like the biggest uh, what are they called? Like, like grown or big cats, right? Um, mm. This is not that. This is not intimidating. This is kind of exactly. boring. Arcanine's exactly. the closest thing. Like, right, and, but even Arcanine Entei is like a dog. Is the closest I want thing. my true tiger. I want my true, I would argue Raikou's the closest mean, thing. Mean, exactly. I, Cineror, I would, Cineror, Cineror you need exists. to learn your big cats. I'm sending you a YouTube video on big cats and what you're kind required of, to watch it before yeah, next episode. What kind of videos you're are you sending You're over here pointing to Pyroar and saying <laughs> big that like, cats. it's a tabby cat and all are this. Are you an I mean, expert <laughs> on big cats? <laughs> Cinderella I know that exists, Entei guys. is definitely not a tiger. So if you, send, um, if you send me Disney movies, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to send you the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got Dawn. Incineroar. Yeah. Incineroar actually is it. Is a tiger it's just standing Slow up. King's another Pokemon that low key I kind of think is pointless. Like it yeah, wasn't no, slow, needed. What do you mean? Slow King's so cool. It's a completely different Pokemon. I don't. I have no hate for it, but it's just like you know when you're mapping out. Okay, we're gonna give this an evolution. We're gonna give that an evolution. Who went? Oh, oh, Slowpoke evolves. Let's give him a split. I think it makes total sense. You you have a you have one thing, Shelter, that and it's 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 the placement on the body that defines how the Pokemon evolves. We even saw it with the Crown Tundra. If Shelter bites the arm, it's a completely different Pokemon, right? I would like to see Shelter yes. bite Slowpoke's uh, leg at some point, and it becomes this, like, sailor pirate thing. Pirate, right? yes. That'd that be so sense. cool. That would be cool. I'll, I'll take back any hate for uh, Slowking when I see a pirate Slowpoke evolution. So right here is really cool to see uh, a beta version of Girafferig where uh, it was truly a palindrome. It was truly Girafferig seeing its shadow, right? The tail wasn't just this simplified tail. It was actually What would Ferrigraph look Pokemon. like in this world where yeah. that is the Girafferig? What would the face would be look like? The face would be Insane. like way more, way more bigger. wonder Probably if it'd be heads. like, you know that like... Uh, I, I don't know. There's some kind of mythical creature where it has two heads. It's not Hydra, because yeah. like it's specifically one head is nice and one head cat is dog. evil. No, <laughs> no, that's more I like think cat of... dog. Actually, I'm too young to understand that reference. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's 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 keep it trucking. There hey, are keep rolling. As you can see, a lot of these Pokemon that we know and love that uh, over the last like 20 years, uh, you know, they, they do exist. This one's What's going really on with weird. Bayleaf. Yeah. This one's really weird. And I think it's really, I believe it's just a, a it's like a coding error. Like they put Would Ash have uh, evolved this Chikorita. Exactly. That was what Bayleaf was. I don't think I this is actually Bayleaf. I think this design right here is misplaced. This is something, this honestly could be, this could be closer. To, oh, you know what I'm seeing now? This could be the early beta of Flabebe. It's this little tiny creature Ooh. that hangs out on a flower, right? True. I never thought about that. Yeah, that that's, it is that's actually a good very point. similar. Or, or it, this could be early beta of um, of Blossom, as we were talking about earlier, right? You have this little tiny creature, and where right at its waist is like this flower petal. It, oh, there's you guys can't even see it. It's right here. Uh, Do you think another... it's so interesting that they just in Johto their evolutions were either super sick like Kingdra yeah. and Scizor, or like why did you give us this like the loss <laughs> for sure? 
Uh, uh, I like kids also really really like a completely different design. What's interesting so is we have these uh, we have both versions of Ellie Kid here. Yeah. It's a form change. It says coexists they... alongside its Space World 97 equivalent. Um f- oh side by so side. Oh, it was a form change. Maybe not a form change, but maybe, maybe just a different Ele- Pokemon. Maybe Electabuzz was going to be a three stage with Electabuzz exactly. being the final oh, and Ellie wow. Kid was a mid stage and Baby was because that makes sense too because it's yeah. era baby, so it would it's be baby that. kid and then the final. Uh, oh, that is so, so weird. Cool. <laughs> and you know what's crazy is I never liked the baby Pokemon. The ones I always liked were Elekid, Magby, and maybe Tyrogue, right? Because they seem Elekid and Magby are sick. But yeah. uh, Riolu wants a word with you. Well, right? Um, no, Riolu is cool. Well, that's Pichu a leader. wants a word with you. Yeah. Oh, Pichu. Yeah, yeah, I think incredible. This is so much cooler to me because I think uh, what is it called? Arab, Arab baby, Arab, Arab, Arab baby. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It there's another name for it. That's just the more Japanese one. Okay, yeah, I don't know what it's called. So you got I don't know. I think it's really cool. It looks like an egg as well. It looks like the egg. This one's really interesting to me. It's called a plesiosaur like Pokemon bearing some resemblance to a Viking ship. Its front half fittingly representing the figurehead. We get a lot of water Pokemon. No, 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 no. So there, there's a lot of water Pokemon that have, like, war inspirations. Even, mm. f- yeah, I always thought Mantine was really weird, and I, I'm, I'm getting a similar vibe here. Actually, this is also kind of like Lapras, right? Maybe this yeah. was, di- maybe they were like, uh, we need another Pokemon to ferry around its trainer, right? This is a cool Pokemon that I love to see. It should be, I wanted, uh, you know, I did, Dusty, like, we've always talked about how you found me was like, uh, through I did these Pokemon predictions for Scarlet and Violet, and yeah. like one of the ones I was most proud of was like uh, in Portugal and Lisbon. There's yeah. um there's gondolas, and I said bring back this Pokemon and rework it into a gondola. Yeah, that I would, would be love so that. I would have been so happy with that. I wonder if this was related to um, to Remorate it at all. It has similar markings yeah. on the back of its body. I right? doubt it, it. Highly doubt it. But I love. I love this Pokemon. I think it should exist. I think it should be really a legendary. Cool. Even Water it's Dragon. Really cool. It's so sad. Don't some people speculate it was like the original Lugia? Yes, yeah, oh, wow. some people do. Yep. That's so sick. The that original would be incredible. idea. Hmm. That's so cool. So now we have a different version of Hootoot right here. Um, same version of Smeargle. It's a little bit more. It's creeping around a little bit more. Uh, even like Ho-Oh differences, here. like the yeah, like the Gen One differences, like just tweaks here and there on some of these. Yeah, yeah. We have the unknown again. I still think this is pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, it's uh, pretty, pretty much pretty the same similar. thing. We talked about this earlier. Um, this Pokemon, I honestly have never even seen. Right, the a weird rather one. odd looking rabbit. Like very Pokemon. weird one. Yeah, um, this is definitely Zygarde cell form, right? <laughs> oh wow yeah thought about that i think super it's like, yeah, yeah. He, he does look like it i think it looks like the evolution like pre-evolution of the viking boat to me personally but sure i can see that yeah yeah Dusty, Dusty, it looks can like you, can you click on the little bird below it the the front oh, the scarecrow boat bird. this one's nice i, like I love him he is yeah, so cute good. i love he's him cute. with his little hat oh my god the hat's goodness. cute yeah. This is my favorite thing I've ever seen. Have we seen <laughs> any other Pokemon that could possibly resemble this? It looks like Spearow, honestly, but obviously that was Gym 1. I think Cream it had to be... like bird Pokemon. I think it was a, a like a counterpart to Murkrow. I was going to say that, they yeah. They scare crows away. Um, oh, that's true. Oh. Scare crow. Oh, I love that so much. That's cool. That's I'm cool. like it should have existed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's the big all of these. Exist, is that a gargoyle? We'll click on that one so we yeah, can see. Yeah, this one's incredible. That seems really neat. It kind of, like kind of reminds me of Aerodactyl. It does, yeah. It's weird, but it's cool. Well, let's see what it's, it's like uh, a gargoyle like Pokemon with a long tail, two long feet, and head fairly reminiscent of Aerodactyls. I wonder okay, if so we... that was reworked into Gliscor a little bit because Gliscor has like oh, some pretty prominent gargoyle features. I'm getting kangaroo from this. I'm not going to lie. Yo, okay. No, here we go. Here we go. What if this is the male Kangaskhan? Right? Because it's got a similar skull to Cubone and, and Marowak, which, and I don't even know if we're going to see this on yeah, see this it. list, but there was also there was also uh, some back sprites of like old Kangaskhan and like a mid-stage between what looked like uh, between Marowak 
and Kangaskhan. I could totally see that being related. Look, there's Beta yeah. Sharpedo. It's a kangaroo. Yeah, here we go. This it's Sharpedo. The, they say it's this the... was no. They say this was going to be like Kangaskhan. Uh, not Kangaskhan. Carvana, <laughs> and uh, and then maybe Love Disc. I'm seeing Love oh, Disc. Sharpedo. Alomola. Alomola. It's half a fish. No. It's a sunfish. That's what Sharpedo is. I will always stand by that. No. Wait. A sunfish? Yeah, it's look a it up. Sunfish. A sunfish. That's what Sharpedo? that is. Yeah, look it up. He's saying that's what Sharpedo is. It totally no. is. It's more like a sunfish a than it is a shark. No way. It's definitely a mix. Sharpedo is just a, it's a, it's a torpedo shark. It's a bad shark. I agree. They took a shark and they said, how do we make this a torpedo? took a shark and they said, how do we make this bad? How do we make it look like a bullet? And they made Sharpedo. All right, we now, we have a, bad. now we have the original fire starter. There was no Cyndaquil involved in this line, right? Look at this. Uh, fire starter, the front sprite would later Cyndaquil. be redrawn as Teddy Ursa in the, in the 99 demo. That's true. There's 97 demo, 98 demo, 99 demo. Um, I love this thing. I love this one is good. But I prefer fire Cyndaquil. Bear. Cyndaquil is just too iconic. It is good. But don't. Don't get me wrong with all these beta Pokemon. I want them to exist, but I don't want them to replace the Pokemon that we got. I just no, you get one or the other. So all be there. I want them all to exist. I feel you. The more this of one's the merrier, crazy. right? Yeah. Molga. You think this is a Molga? I can see that. It's a flying squirrel. Definitely. Is it flying? Yeah. What's yeah. on its back? No, it's it's sword. a flying squirrel. Like that is the type of squirrel it is. Oh, that's true. It has a You're sword right. on its back, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's a... the sword that's kind of crazy. And I, I have to click on the back sprite. Look Here at in this. the south, we get them in our attics all the time. It actually has really? a katana. Well, you mean regular squirrel? <laughs> the flying squirrels. Really? Yeah, well, where I grew up, we did. This is so that's cool. True. It's a ninja flying squirrel. I love that. I don't live yep. there anymore, but where I grew up, no, we got them a lot. It should exist. In like right. mid South Carolina. We got Meganium, Miltank, Snubble, and then actually there is a different Grass version. And a quill. I always thought this is like a ice type. Yeah, it could be ice or steel. Or... It reminds me it of like a steel. Chia Pet, so I've always thought of Grass. I've always thought it could be we reworked into Shaman a little bit. It kind of, you know, very I could see that, yeah. Hedgehog-like. It's definitely a Hedgehog, but this also looks like a Mario spiky shell, right? Steel this type yeah. I never considered, but I like steel type a lot. You, dude, that would have been great. They should have made that so that we could have uh, Knockley would be our one up. Then we'd have our red shell. We could just build a Mario team. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> sick. Here we go. So we got uh, Rin Rin. We talked oh, about Rin. this. This one's really cool. So this was supposed to be this next this. line was supposed to be the water starter. Um, and to me, it's just like the Loch Ness monster. It's some sort of what do you call it? Like a plesiosaur? Is that what it's, the dinosaur it would be called? Yeah, but it's even more different than like you know Lapras or or even the Viking boat that we already sure. saw. It's just okay. You oh, have so to cool. choose for alligator or that. What are you picking? I think I'm gonna pick this. It's I'd so impossible. This. It's and so I love for alligator, for alligator, but I I'd love for this. alligator. I could not get rid of for alligator. I couldn't get I, this. This I is love. so cool. Oh, I love it so this much. is so cool. Mm -hmm. This uh, is there's another I, sprite of it too that looks even th cooler. This is what I thought Sobble was gonna evolve into. Yeah. All right, here we go. We, we all got, did. Even the mid stage. I mean, honestly, this whole line this could have been That's reworked into so Poplio. Uh, right. Yeah, the middle stage reminds me of Brion, kind of. Definitely, yeah. All right, Chikorita, Raikou, Entei, Suicune, Skarmory, Delibird, Cleffa, <laughs> Octillery. They're all so different. Um, yep. Maybe not Skarmory. Not Skarmory or or Chikorita, really. I mean, Garmory, yeah. when you look at the details of those things, they Rocket are different. Fox. But... Oh, we have so many more Pokemon to go. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to do a part two. I'm telling you right now, because there's a there's a lot, man. We can should just we, we can talk we, more. Should we just continue without Lumi? <laughs> I want no, to. I want to watch the thing too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the direct. Yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, let's just. Uh, all right, we'll just. I'm gonna cut this, but like for ten, we got ten minutes. We'll just speed through this. Yeah, and we can we can do it. We can do another deep dive later. We can do another on. one because we also have Gen Four and Gen Ones that you can show off, and we can just yeah. talk more about it. We don't have to go through every single thing like this, is, but you know, yeah, let's try it. Go. Well, what do, do you gonna, what do you guys want to do for ten minutes then? I mean, just keep do going. a few more, then just wrap it up. There's so many more. Bit. I guess we could yeah. finish this up in ten minutes. All right. Uh, so love, this next love. Pokemon's called a Windsock Pokemon, like. <laughs> like what the it's a shooting it's star it's a shooting star fox. fox you saw Mo Mozilla Mozilla 
And Mozilla. Mozzarella. Firefox. Oh, it That's says a it's a real Mozilla. It says it's a reworked Furret. I could see that now. Furret's design was always very strange, but that actually makes a lot of sense. I will say something about the blurbs, though, that, like, this is just somebody's opinion on what they yeah. could be as yeah. well. Like, that's, I could be writing that. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, definitely, definitely. But that makes more, a lot of sense. I could see that. Yeah. I think it's more supposed to be a shooting star. Like, if you look at its face, it's shaped Ooh. like a star, like, the little thing on the top and then the two ears, and it has two little... One, or, two, things. three. Yeah, four. That's so really there cute. There will be another one on the other side of that whisker. Yeah. I like the back. The back sprite specifically makes it even look more like it. Am I allowed to click this back sprite? Yes. I, I like to yeah. think. I like to like think that it'd be like, how is this Pokemon actually gonna like, like interact with the world around it? Because this would be so weird if it's just like always floating around. Be cool, it is though. cute. That'd be it, cool. It, like some of these, I'm glad they're not in the game because they do feel like Digimon. They feel like they're like base form Digimon. All right, oh, this is definitely from Birdier. From Birdier, that's him. Wow, generation one it even has a little bird in its pouch kind of gave it cleavage yeah it's All supposed right. to be womanly Lumi, sure. what are you what are you looking at Lumi? it's plumage <laughs> yeah it's, it's a little weird that those are two feathers yeah it is that is really cool i've never i don't think i've seen this before the bird's just like still looking back at you it oh yeah looks it's like a some demon hair. it had a demon baby <laughs> it does it's always looking at you no matter where you are you see beta it's pichu is, right is crazy just tubby this is the type of like baby Pokemon that I don't like, where they're just a circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's just a circle. But okay, this one's sick. Wait, is cool. That's this is better another... than Ink. Yeah, Hot take. right out of a Mario game. It is really, yeah. really. Could that be like a? No, it's just a squid. I was gonna say from the front, it looks like a spiral horn. Oh yeah, it like is it, like, like a it, drill kind of thing. Yeah, like it could it's be like the two type. sprites. This happens a lot where the sprites don't um like add up. Like it's two different versions basically of it. Sure. Yeah. Beta uh, it. Mantine is very interesting. The back is epic. It's like, like an like, angel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like its tail looks way more like um, like a stream of water or like it's like flying through the air. Right? Yep. And, and I feel like this really helps drill home the flying type. This one's crazy. What is this? Oh, this is Pineco Burmy. in Burmy. Yeah. It's like a... Uh, a bagworm. Bagworm. That's how I was, I was thinking yeah. of a different word, but yeah. Oh, you guys can't see that. Here you go. That's a cool. That's cool. I like this. What is this? Awesome. Yeah, it's like a little Mothum. I, that awesome. one's so it epic really is, to me. Yeah. I love it. This is cute. It mm -hmm. looks like a variation of Butterfree, but I do like that a lot. I've never... Some of these I haven't even seen. Yeah. It's not like a well-done sprite, but I bet if it was Amala. drawn, it would have been epic. What is this? Komala. Komala. I haven't seen any of these. That is so cool. This is 100% Komala. Wow. This is so it cool. It has like, uh, like, transparent, but you can like put your arm. Cane raccoon. Ear. <laughs> like its ear, you see, you can like. Oh, look it's transparent. It. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that's how they made it. They, like you do that. Okay, it looks like a Pokemon now. It's got like a yeah. weird quirk. That's really holes. cool. I've never There's seen cocaine this. raccoon coming to theaters yeah, this, in 2025. This guy this has crazy. It's fire. This has though. a big story behind it. So it tell makes me the story. Sense. I don't know off the top of my head. You have to look up a legend. It's like a legend about this raccoon that was trying to trick people. It's a it's a yokai. Oh, it's a tanuki. A tanuki, not raccoon. A you fire know I mean. kindling on its back. Okay, but that makes sense, right? Like it, it it looks like a robber, right? Yeah, the fire's on its back because some some like rabbit tricked it into like wanting to. I forget the story, but basically, Steal something. On fire? He's, all, he's all. Do you running Man from arson? fire do you guys remember the burglar class uh in in generation two they show up in the burn tower they also show up yeah in yeah, the, yeah. Uh, in the underground um oh, that always seemed like a really weird trainer class but i feel like this would this would i like to think that they create especially in the burn tower alongside the pokemon yeah right the burn tower that would make so much sense too like That'd it's a cool. burglar it's got it's the burglars always had fire type pokemon so that's why i'm imagining that this connection that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So we got we got Beta Houndour. That's really cool. I I never heard Brothers. that this would be based on Mimikyu, but I like that. What is this thing? Crazy bird. It's Chatot. Maybe a little. It's a bird with a horn, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, look at the fire water seal. Yeah, this one's. Yeah, cool. that thing should have existed as well. Yeah, too cool. Maybe Ponyta is literally just smaller Ponyta. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Same Small with these other babies, right? They're here. just smaller versions. Oh, those oh, this... were actually in Gen One too. Yeah, Greninja. 
What is, is this? Is a, this is not Grinja. Ninja. The tongue. You're, yeah, the a tongue. So what? Tongue. So they decide All... to take a frog and do the tongue element later. Oh man, they just gave it a ninja element. I really I like I that frog. That. Its back smart is different, right? It looks a yeah. little different. It's cute. I don't think. I mean, Greninja is like a far cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Oh, so this would have been Wobbuffet. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. It's, it has like a complicated mix with Girafferig and Wobbuffet. Yeah. They're like, we're supposed to be the same thing. So like that was a Girafferig. Like this thing. would have evolved into Girafferig. It's like mm -hmm. a ghostly spirit that would have like mm -hmm. evolved to become like, not, not just psychic debt, but normal psychic. Interesting. Yeah, so these people, they put it attached to Wobbuffet, I guess, for this reason. Yeah. I Looks do see similar. the connection though. Hmm? I do see the connection with the tail being its shadow. Um, oh, this thing is crazy. I think it's a slowpoke. I hate that. Baby slowpoke? I don't like that. Look at its face. I hate yeah, that. it looks that like a hippo. Is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. That's it's a little piggy hippo. Oh, it's look at this. Thing golden go. Look at this. Uh, this. What, what do you call this? This is all opinion. A stoned looking hybrid between a hippopotamus and a warthog, complete with a punk mohawk and stylish dark pants. Yeah, that's a bad. That's a bad Pokemon, dude. So tell me, you know about that's this one? That's a cool one. Pokemon. Yeah, no, cool. I love it. Yeah, it could be anything, man. What about like? Reminds me of a Xenomorph from. from yeah, that's, it says that actually in the little blurb on the side. But I, yeah, I think like a, a Marowak evolution would be sick, or like I think it, a fossil would make the most sense. Like yeah. it was a Gen. This was Gen 2's fossil. Think about yeah. that. Freaking epic. Wow, that would have been crazy. Because that makes sense. It's like the fossils we got in Generation One. They resembled stones, or it, uh, you look at Kabuto and uh, and Ammonite. It's really mostly a shell. You have this little mm -hmm. tiny organism within a shell. Um, so this would have been like an organism within uh, within the skeleton of of the of the dinosaur or whatever it might be. That actually yeah. makes a lot of sense. All right, guys, we want to go over this entire list, but we do gotta go. There's a Nintendo Direct uh, right now <laughs> that we want to go watch. Um, yeah, let us know. If you like this episode, let us know. We'll do part two. There's still Generation 3 and Generation 4 Pokemon to review. We still got a bunch more of uh, Generation 2 Pokemon to go over. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. If you're watching on iTunes or on Spotify, leave us a review. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.